Hey there, it's Jeff Finley of Go Media, and I'm going to show you how to use these cool vintage ink textures we just released on the Arsenal. So if you go to arsenal.gomedia.us, and on the home page right now, as of this recording, they're right on the uh, right on the home page. But um, you can search for them in the Everything Else tab. So these new vintage ink textures are made by a letterpress machine by rubbing like putting down like these uh, really dry ink patterns, and you. When you work, put them into your designs, you can get some really cool vintage effects. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Photoshop. So after you buy it and download it, and open up the JPEG in Photoshop, this is the design we're going to be working on. So let's go ahead and open up one of the one of the textures. So you'll see there are 11 here of different types. So just choose the one that you like, and I'll choose this one. So this is the what the texture looks like. It's just a black and white image. So what you want to do is press Ctrl A to, to select all, press Ctrl C to copy. Go over to your design and select the shape that you want to distress or add the effect to. So let's just add it to this yellow circle. So what you'll do first is go to layer, layer mask, reveal all. And then on this in the layer palette here, you'll see this white square. Alt click on it. And then now you're going to be editing the layer mask. So press Ctrl V to copy the uh, texture and then press control T to set up the transform controls and then you can resize it like this because it comes in all high res like that so make sure you hold down shift when you're transforming so make sure it's even transform and when you've got it set up the way you want just press enter there you go and then you'll see click, click back on your shape so here's the alt click there's a layer mask Here's your shape, and you can kind of see it's got I've got a distressed tone to it. So now that you've done it to one, you can take this same layer mask and hold Alt and drag it to all your other shapes to apply the same layer mask to all of your other shapes like that. Even apply it to your text, apply it to just about anything that you want, except the background layer. You can't do it on that. So what I'm going to do is create another background layer, make it white and then apply the layer mask to this that's a little too much so maybe I'll take this white layer and make it I'll just choose this purple color oh that's also too much maybe I'll make it a little maybe I'll make it this color there we go so this is my background layer so the layer mask is essentially masking out your shape and all these different um, with the with the pattern of your of your layer mask so you know you can paste in any any one of these like let's do yeah let's see number seven for instance and this number seven actually has a couple different choices here so what you'll do is grab your selection tool just make a selection box like right around there like that copy and alt click on your layer mask so I'm going on the background layer here paste it in like that change the size well in fact I'm going to rotate this like that and just shrink it so it's the right size for my document Okay, press enter, and there you have it. There's a different distress pattern, and if I wanted to, I can apply it to pretty much any shape. Okay, now, now this one is mostly black, so it's doing a lot of distressing on it. So if I can actually do the invert, because the black parts is where it's going to be knocking out the shape. So I've given it a little bit, I inverted it. You can kind of see, and you can unlink your layer mask here. So that way you can move, select the mask and move it around. Whoops. Select the mask part and move it around like this if you like. So that's pretty much it. You can get all sorts of cool effects this way. And that's what these textures are for. We're going to be releasing a lot more of these. And these are great to give you that screen printed vintage textured look. And when you go to the arsenal, you can click through the image gallery on these letterpress ink textures here and see all the different ink patterns that we've got that can apply different effects to your designs. So that's it. Have fun. Thank you.